Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. So welcome, welcome to my channel everybody. So I am currently working on my Paper Pumpkin Alternatives for July 2023's uh, paper pumpkin kit called fun in the sun. This is video number 14. This is going to be a little uh, sketch pad. I have one to show you that I did for an event. So this is the one I did for my event. We're going to um, make, we're using an extra one of these I had, and I'm going to show you uh, what is in my head, really. So, um, before I go and show you everything we're doing here, I lost my flyer for paper pumpkin. Did I lose it or is it under there? It's under there. Okay, so in August, August 1st to the 30th first, kits are 30% 30, 30 off. I don't do a lot of advertising, but I do want to share with you what I have in case you are interested in creating alongside of me. I have the kerchief. Uh, kit here. I have it separated in supplies. Um, I have this kit sitting on my shelf and I have another one here for the guys card kit. Um, so I will tell you that uh, anyways I also have that Oh my gosh, I can't. I'm not going to go get it. I have some paper that I think will go really great with this kit. But if you want to uh, do some kit cards with some of the stuff I have, uh, if you don't have these two kits, grab them. Grab them while the 30% off. I wish I had. <laughs> That's a great deal. But these have been sitting on my shelf for a while now. And um, this is going to be a great opportunity here in August or the beginning of September to work on those kits. I know I won't start it till probably the middle um, of August. That way, in case you want to create with me, you have plenty of time to order them and get them in. So let's show you. These are the cards you could have made with this paper pumpkin kit. Absolutely fabulous. They, I wonder if I should say this. Okay. In my opinion, these are the best Stampin' Up! has ever done because these cards can be, don't need to be altered if you don't want to. Um, I enjoy coming up with something different. I don't do paper pumpkin as they are designed because there are so many other videos out there on doing just that. Um, if you want to challenge yourself, like I love to do, the challenge every month to come up with something different is is something that I am totally into. I absolutely thrive on it. And um, anyway, so that's that. Let's get into what I have done. So these are the elements I'm using. I took a card base. Do I have the other one to show you? One, two. Yes. So I took this particular card base and I cut it up into three pieces. Now, I'm not using this one and I'm not using this one. I am using this one. However, I think I'm going to make a card with this in video number 13 and I'm going to try to use uh, these two elements with that. So that being said, I'm going to set those up here and aside. Now, this is a writing tablet set. It's three and a half by five. You get three of them for a dollar and a quarter at the dollar store. and. I had these on hand for my event so that we are going to use one of those that I had lying around. We have the sand part we're going to be using. This is part of the envelope from that we cut apart in video number 13. We're going to use part of this. We're going to use these wonderful umbrellas and then this is what you are looking for. This one is in Starry Sky. This was an extra <coughs> bit for this one. Okay. So I got it out because I think it's easier for you to see where I placed my tear tape on this one than on the granny apple green, but we are using granny apple green. Now the measurements for this are three and a half by 10 and one quarter. You score it five, you score it five and a quarter. And I put an eighth of an inch tear tape in the center. And then I took a quarter inch piece of tear tape and just put it at a diagonal. I 
this is me. I just think it was wasteful to go all the way around as you don't need that. And I love writing tablets. I keep <clears throat> things like this on my desk all the time. If you know with someone in an office, this is a great little thing to give them. So the only thing I did not do yet is I did not uh, score this. So let me get that done. Well, I scored it, but I didn't crease it. With the bone folder. So I'm going to just make sure I'm getting it straight here. And I pull out. Okay. So there's that. And we can get this mounted right away. Make sure, of course, that you get this piece here on the back. That is important. Ask me how I know. Okay. <laughs> you want to know? Mm -hmm. I was just one day not paying attention and this was a couple years ago. I, I have done that. It happens, okay? So all I did here is I like to stand things up like this. Stand it up again. Get it lined up there like so. And then pop that here. Now what I do do here is I do take the bone folder and I push in on that tear tape. Then I go over top and bottom and we just covered our little notepad really really simple we're gonna set those aside for the moment because now we need to cut this and I'm gonna do a couple of cuts on here yikes um get my guillotine out need to know from this point to this point how long it how wide it is so it is two we're going to go with two and a half because I can trim it down. So now I need a piece of this for the beginning that is two and a half. So I'm going to come in like so. Oh, there's a little edge there from the fold of that that I'm not liking the look of. So I'm going to trim that off. So turn it this way. Two and a half. All right this piece now can retire over there so this piece is going here but now we can do one of two things we can we're gonna gl actually glue this on and then we're gonna trim it all down together so let's glue it together I wasn't sure exactly what I was doing but as far as trimming it down but I think this is a good alternative so I'm gonna add some glue X dot 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 dot. Just giving us some blue sky and water on our piece. So you can see how it's hanging over there. Now we're going to trim that down some more. So let's start with I'm gonna trim this all down this is at three and a half I want it to be at three and a quarter so I'm gonna go in at three and three eighths trim and the reason why is because now I'm gonna get nice crisp edges the reason why I'm doing it this way I said I wanted it three and a quarter right there it is <clears throat> now I need to cut some off the top so let's look at where it is on the measuring it's at four and a quarter so I think we'll take it to four or yeah cuz it right there is where the edge of the white is from the back so we're gonna take it we can do it four and one eight. and let's take a look at what it's gonna look like Hmm. I'm wondering do I put a little bit of like melon mambo at the top and the bottom which is very likely what I'm gonna do yeah I'm gonna come in with a little bit of melon mambo. This is just a scrap piece lying around that I've used. I'm not gonna do any on the sides. I just wanna continue top 
and bottom down here. I just got to figure out how much I need of it. So probably three quarters of an inch. Let's get this to see. We need it to be at three and a quarter. So let's cut that measurement first. Three and a quarter. And we need two that are three quarters of an inch. One. And that should cover it because you remember I'm using bits and pieces here guys okay but this is not that does not look right so we're going to add a bit of pop of color at the top to bring in the melon mambo from our umbrella and a piece of color from the bottom okay that's what we are doing now I will tell you let's see we're getting an eighth of an inch around each one. I'm going to get, I need a scratch piece of paper. Let's use my little notebook. I'm going to tear this off for a second and show you how I work things out. Kind of crazy, I know. So, my tablet, just if you want some information, here's my tablet. It is three and a half by five. And I'm going an eighth of an inch around on all sides. So I need to bring this to three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Now what I am going to do, ah, I can use this right here. No one's going to see that I've stamped on this. So I'm going to cut me a piece that is, let's get my little measure here, three and a quarter right there I'm gonna go just a hair under that three and a quarter by four and three quarters okay this is just makes it a bit easier for me anyways when I piece things together now I'm gonna take this and you're gonna see that that is going to fit see that border we have now around it so what I can do now to this one is I'm going to glue my melon mambo right there. It's kind of like doing a little cheat sheet. So there's melon mambo at the top. Now it's going to come down here and we have a three quarters of an inch so you can use a grid if you want and where to put your glue going to stand it up make sure it's even there so there's that one next we have this piece which is going to now go on to here and you can see how easy that was so I'm going to add a nice bit of glue there in the center X marks the spot dot 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 and a strip there then we are going to pick well, we don't have to. I want to turn it sideways so I can use my grid to line it up. And I should have it. That looks pretty darn even to me. It can be a little bit more or less. But now, it was so much easier than worrying about this being straight or this being straight. It's all straight now. And now, look at that. It's going to work. So now we're going to take this bit and we are going to glue this to our writing tablet. I'm dropping things here off of my table. So one of the things we're going to use is this umbrella and it needs to be from there to there which from there to there is I've already forgot because I didn't write it down is three and a quarter so we're going to put it this way in our guillotine and cut it no we're not we're going to flip it over 
three and a quarter. Now we don't want to go all the way down and we'll cut our umbrella. So right there. And this is going to go up on dimensionals, but it's going to just come down. And I got that crooked on there, but it's going to work anyways. We are going to put this on dimensionals, I said. Yes, we are. So one, two, let's see, we're going to add that piece there, one there, one there. Where's the mini sheet of them? Because we need some here. One. I think two shall do it. Two. And I want a mini in that little corner over here. And the rest are going to be big ones. Let's see. We're going to put one there. One there. And that will be good. Now I haven't figured out, I wanted to do waving hello, or hello sunshine is what I wanted to stamp on here. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, or if I'm even going to put it on there, I might just do um, the other little embellishments I was thinking of, but you'll have to wait and see here. Because it may not really need anything actually at all. We might do, I was thinking the card, I think that on the card. So here is our, oh, so, so cute. We need a sun up there in the sky. And that dimensional, of course, as this is not getting, this is not a card, it's not being mailed. So let's see what other little bits we can come up with that are in our little dish here. Oh, I like the sunglasses. Those are my last ones. Or do we do the little starfish? I think we're going to go with the starfish. And that is going to just get glued down because we already have dimensionals on this area. So, so cute. So, Wink Estella got to do the sun in all its gorgeous rays of glistening when you're out there at the beach. Of course, we're going to sun kiss our umbrella. Can't wait to open my new one here. Oh, it's really going to start coming out. Oh, yeah. Going to do the beach ball, of course. The starfish, which is needs to stay glued down. The shovel. We got to sun kiss it all, you know. We're going to do these little dunes in the sand. Just because we can. And do that. And do the sand. Do that little streak there. Why not? Okay, so that is our, we're going to leave it just like that. Something very simple because the card is going to come into play with this. So let's put that on the beach ball. And do I want to add a few more? I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's use them. This is a good thing for them. Two, three, because I'm telling you I'm not crazy about these things, but this is a good use of them. <laughs> All right, so is the sandals. Oh, that's really actually kind of cute. Ooh, okay, so that is my project for this video. I say project because it's not a card. We're not doing any um, stamping. You could stamp, you know, on the inside. If this was a white tablet, I'd stamp little starfish all over on the inside of it. Uh, you know, I'm going to... Let's, let's use Pacific Point. That will show up on that purple writing tablet. 
show you what I mean. So let's go like this. We're going to stamp one there. I'm going to open up a section and stamp another. Take up a section and stamp another. A little surprise in the little writing tablet. Get a little farther down. There we go. So we have a little something in the corner. You could even stamp. Oh, let's just do it. Let's just do it. We're going to stamp this one in the center. Let's clean it off because we're going to add a Melon Mambo. Not sure Daffodil Delight will, uh, Granny Apple Green will show up. But let's add some Daffodil, I mean, Melon Mambo on the Granny Apple Green here. We're going to add one there and one there. Just a little extra something on the, the back. So, let's turn it over. There's my little gift. Or I'll probably be using it myself. I'll have to see. Oh, I know somebody I could send it to. Very special young woman. And I'll make her a little card. Oh, really, really cute. So, that's my project, guys. I hope you like it. It's a little something different. Um... Tune in to video number 15 as I go and I try to come up with a card using these two pieces. Stay tuned. I hope you guys like it enough to give me a thumbs up, like, share my channel. Would you help me grow it? Re I really, really do appreciate it. But more than anything, come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye now.